um, which you'll be able to see, it, it's, it's quite, it, it looks like quite a neutral space. Um, and I think that it, um, as a space, it's, it suggests different things. Uh, but I think we were really, we didn't want it to be too specifically one thing or another, because as a space, one would like it to work on, on different levels, so that some people might think it's one thing and somebody might think it's another. Uh, one of the things that the designer and I were inspired by was the fact that there are these two, uh, a detective and a forensic guy trying to sort out what actually happened when a particular murder took place. And so we kind of thought about, well, what if it feels a bit like a lab or a bit like a morgue or a bit like a, a, just a space where an investigation can happen? And, and that, that, was, that was our motivating factor. So that's maybe why it's, that's why it's white and uh, it means that whenever you put any of the evidence of the story or evidence of the murder into the space, each object that comes into the space suddenly really has a lot of resonance and color. One of the things you can see at the moment is there's a, a clothing line with bloody animal skins hanging from it, which of course has resonance with uh, Oedipus Rex and Greek tragedy and people sacrificing animals in order to be able to tell the future. As you can see, there's a bit of, there's a bit of dirt and um, blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I think it was very much about trying to create a space in which a very, once again, layered, uh, fragmented uh, kind of storytelling could take place. This is called Oedipus Variations. And uh, it, was, it was trying to find a neutral space that would give us a very strong atmosphere, um, but that would keep changing every time you put a new person into it or a new object into it. Thank you.